Have you been feeling these onset side effects from the chemotherapy spraying and flood of radiation happening throughout our world on a daily basis? Constant fatigue, tiredness, brain fog, or continuous lapses in memory, hair thinning, red and irritated skin rashes, dryness, flaking, emotional irritation, or even depression? These are all common side effects caused by so-called conventional chemotherapy and radiation treatments for cancer patients, which has become the therapy we are all receiving now. These symptoms are becoming more and more prevalent among everyone that I am talking with. However, perhaps you are one of those who has not felt these effects as much yet. Certainly, everyone's immunity is varied, and this is an important factor of consideration. As with anyone receiving these establishment treatments, it is a well-known fact that in the killing of cancer cells, the other healthy cells of the body are also diminished, and many also die off if it does not altogether kill the patient entirely. It seems that the few are up against a wall held up by the many. There are those who would like to live in a healthier world, breathe clean air, and stop the divisive aspects that lead to so much calamity while there is a torrent of those who insist on seeing a world in flames, thinking that once this world is destroyed, we can just move on to another one, or that some savior will come along and fix all of our mistakes for us. This attitude spits in the face of personal responsibility and continuously promotes weakness and carelessness. It is a mindset that envelops itself into the philosophy of the YOLO, you only live once mentality, combined with its pseudo-inspirational live like there is no tomorrow mantra. Live like there is no tomorrow? That is the very essence of nihilism. If everyone only lives like there is no tomorrow, pretty soon there will not be a tomorrow because that is the energetic and creative signature that is sent into the ether over and over and over again by billions of creative energies. It is what this speaker would call TV mind because the establishment has convinced the populace that the immediate desires and pleasures of a decadent society are more important than the continuance of the sacred and the beautiful. It is a trade-off between temporal glory and pleasure to that of eternal harmony and verdure. As the Satanists put it, do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. And because of this nihilistic philosophy, the whole structure wilts and dies. Does every parent then say to their children, you cannot live on a habitable earth because everyone took on the new age inspirational mind tactic of living like there was no tomorrow? That's too bad for you all. Only to cap it off with this TV mind meme. It is what it is. There are those who do not accept these false inspirational hashtag anthems and would like to walk the neutral path, which is where we are in the timeline of this Matrix story. This is the allegory of Moses parting the Red Sea for a short duration, while the Pharaoh and his cohorts, who wanted to continue living the decadent lifestyle supplied by their slaves, were swept up by the flood of their own mental disease. Only to those who are paying very close attention to themselves and to what is happening will be allowed the opportunity to walk through the narrow gate, which is what is meant by the purple pill. For those divided, the ether will only show either red or blue, but for those ready to change everything in themselves, there will be a passage of neither, ether, 
either, neither. Each of us must change ourselves from within and balance our own inner equation. Resistance is assistance. All positives require their negative counterpart and vice versa. It is either the division of positive and negative, or it is neither. The cycle of the system must stop within each of us, or it will not stop at all. To remain as clear as possible during these times, there is a need to be rid of as many of the binders and metals that are creating hindrances through the accumulative chemotherapy and radiation effects. Do whatever you can to maintain a chelation regimen based upon the use of calcium disodium EDTA or other heavy metal chelating agents such as cilantro, onions, garlic, etc. Do your own research in this area and be very scrutinizing. Chelation itself is paradoxically the reason that we are in this trap. Chelation is from the modern Latin chela, meaning claw, and the Greek heli, claw, talon, cloven, hoof. In chemistry, to chelate means to combine a metal ion with a chemical compound to form a ring or a heterocyclic ring, which is a ring of atoms, especially carbon atoms, that contains at least one atom that isn't carbon. Humans are considered to be carbon-based life forms. And when we combine this with Saturn, the goat god, who is often depicted with cloven hoofs, one can appreciate that this is what is meant by Santa Claus, Satan Claus, with the rings around Saturn's head. We are all the binded atoms, atoms, that form the ring and run around and around in this never-ending Olympic human race that is going nowhere. Furthermore, the Greek word for tie bind is dea, which is showing us the English word do as related to the dew of the moon and the duality of two from the French de for two, which is why deuce also means devil. 
Dio is shown to mean God, as the istriot Dio means God, coming from the Latin Dias, for God, deity, related to the Italian Dio, for God, and many other cognate examples. This is where the saying, Dias ex machina, is truly derived, because God is in the machine of Saturn, which is the computer cube. The mind of God has been divided and split in two and is fighting against itself. This is what the technologists are playing out again. To split the mind by adding their own form of chelating agents to bind technology with biology and become that which they are already formed from, God. The only thing that will be accomplished is another split. And instead of bringing them and everyone else who participates in this affair closer to God or the All, it will bring them even further away. This is why the word chelating is so close to the word cheating, because there are no shortcuts to divinity. The heterocyclic ring of Saturn that rules them all is the chain gang of atoms in the molecule that forms this closed loop. This is why it is incredibly difficult to suggest solutions, when along with the solution, there is another side that shows the astounding complexity that we face, whereby our answers very well might create more problems. One's intention is important in the approach, and if the intention is to clear oneself of metal poisoning caused by the chemical agents of geoengineering chemotherapy, that is what must be stated. One must prove inwardly that their intention is pure to be able to walk through the valley of shadows and death. Our mind must be as clear as possible in the times to come.